uh, incubation has been heart of Deshpande startups, and uh, we have a fantastic companies uh, here. Uh, Carbon Craft uh, quickly I've skipped to the uh, the good part due to the paucity of time. And uh, our aim is to deepen the uh, impact both at the national level and at the global level. And having said that, uh, uh, we have Carbon Craft, which is actually taking the product from Hubli to the rest of the world. Sitting next to me is Tejas, who is CEO. Uh, and founder of Carbon Craft, and um, uh, he's, he's you know tell us an excellent story. So um, uh, Tejas, I mean every company has got a secret sauce. So starting with that, I mean I would like to know, I mean what do you do? What is so great about your product? And what is the secret sauce? Yeah. Um, thank you everyone for the opportunity. First, uh, the secret sauce is none other than carbon, basically. So uh, essentially. It's the waste carbon that we use from various factories, and then um, we process that, and then we store it into a tile. Um, that's what it looks like. That's the carbon, actually. That's what it looks like. Uh, this same carbon uh, that we use, and we store it into various building materials right now. Um, actually, this carbon is what is there in your lungs, my lungs, and everyone's lungs right now, while we are speaking. So we are breathing this on and on every day. So we just take this uh, from various factories so that it is largely prevented from happening into the air. And then we store it into a tile. Oh, that's great. So um, I was given to understand, I mean, one tile is equivalent to one day of fresh air. Uh, any yeah. other statistics, I mean, that you'd like to say about that? So uh, Yeah, so actually, uh, if this wouldn't have gone into your lungs, essentially, it's uh, equal to how much we breathe in a day. So that's the amount of carbon that we are able to store into a tile. Right now, we are working on the solid carbon. Uh, we are also working on CO2. Uh, so it's more like uh, the gaseous carbon that is there. We are working with uh, the company in Sweden where they would capture it. And we would then set up a factory in Hubli, uh, which would then capture the CO2 and then store it into a tile. OK. Um, so they say, I mean, execution is where the magic actually happens. So tell me, I mean, what are the challenges, I mean, that you face uh, while building your company here, is specifically in Hubli? Yeah. Um, on a day-to-day -day basis, there are a million challenges what a founder faces, actually. But uh, to start with, one of this is people. Uh, people really make the team. And uh, talent acquisition is an issue. But what we soon learned was it's not the aptitude, but it is the attitude. So now the approach that we are changing is, if there is an attitude to learn, then we can really train them from ground up. So that's what we are doing them with all the uh, sciences-based uh, engineering people that there are here from IIT, SDM. We're training all the people to be able to solve global problems, but from Hubli. OK. And I was also given to understand, I mean, the lifespan of this style is about 70 years, which is very different compared to the vitrified tiles that, that is available in the market. So we can throw some numbers on that. Yeah. Um, you would have seen these old tiles, right? If you go to these old buildings, these terrazzo-based chips that you use, it's a very similar technique. Uh, we essentially uh, make this with um, a three-stage pro proprietary process. We collect the carbon. We process it in Hubli right now. And then we work with a 200-year-old craft. Uh, so these are artisans that are handcrafting this entire tile one by one. And we are trying to also see how we can make various patterns like there and then mechanize them as well. So there is a mix of environmental impact, but also social inclusivity while we are scaling. So I mean, talking about social, this thing, can you throw some light on the social impacts that have been created over the years? Um, in the last year, we've done about 10,000 square feet of uh, larger deployment, which, uh, by which we've been able to prevent 10 tons of CO2 emissions. We've employed about five artisans right now uh, who are sort of reviving this craft and then bringing it back. Uh, while we are doing this, we also want to now set up a 1 million square feet sort of a manufacturing unit here right in Hubli. Uh, now, you're, you're in a uh, rock-solid business, so in fact, I mean, literally, I mean, I can say. Uh, tell me, what is the role of Deshpande startups in your journey? Um, I think from the time we've been here in Hubli, this has been like a tribe. 
we found a tribe here and i think that is the best part about being in uh, desh pande startups as such very specifically um, we get the pool of larger networks we get to be able to talk to various people there is talent pool also over here which gets that sort of a density of talent that comes over here so we can then interact with them apart from that we are also now setting up a carbon lab which is then happening in desh pande startups which would then be state of the art uh, carbon sequestration sort of machines that we would set up in desh pande startups which would then allow us to do a lot more sort of carbon negative building materials here yeah so this is going to be the largest r and d center for carbon tiles in desh pande center so uh, kudos to tejas uh, uh, and i'm i'm sure i mean uh, you'll be a great source of inspiration to a lot of youngsters there i mean you're there in the space and thanks a lot tejas for it. thank you so much i think this is one last thing that i would yeah. like to share over here um arvin sir has helped us immensely to be able to put this together over here and really big thanks to him but the larger dream for us is make in hubli and sell it globally that's that's really what we want to do yeah thanks tejas yeah